If you plan on riding Valley Metro Rail, the first thing you need to do is purchase fare. One-way tickets for the light rail cost $2, but if you plan on making a round trip, you would be better served by purchasing an all-day pass for $4. You can purchase fare at a machine located on or near the light rail stop, or through Valley Metro's new mobile fare system. Once you've purchased your fare, head to the light rail stop, which has a simple sign indicating which platform departs eastbound and westbound. If you need more detailed directions, each train stop has a map directing passengers to other local transit options, as well as key destinations in the area. At the light rail stop, you will also see the rules for riding the train, which include no littering, no loitering, and no use of alcohol or illegal substances. When your train arrives, make sure it's going in the right direction and then embark on your journey. Once you get on the train, you can take a seat or stand while holding on to one of the available guardrails. The train has specific sections for passengers bringing bikes, as well as for those who have accessibility needs. You will also find reminders of the rules that you saw at the train stop. If there is an emergency on the train, there are also emergency intercom buttons located near the doors that will alert the operator. There are displays and loudspeakers on each train that will let you know which stop you are approaching, as well as a simplified map of the entire line located above the train doors. Once you've reached your stop, the doors will open and you can disembark the train. 